Hello, it's L, and this is a interesting little review, kind of based on dots. So I, with the upcoming dots coming this summer, 2020, I decided I'd look at some of the older friends' uh, jewelry containers and you know things like that. This is the buildable jewelry box, and it went for about fifteen dollars, and it is set number four zero one one four. Um. I'm trying to think of how long, I think it was uh, 2014 that it was released. Um, but basically, it's a thing to hold jewelry, so let's take a look. So the top here, I added all the extra pieces, but you can do whatever you want. This is a printed piece. One of the other reasons why I got this, if you've been following my channel enough, is... Oh, these pink tiles, it's so awesome. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of, a lot of pink tiles in there. And this is, for what this is, it feels really complete and almost high end. And I'll kind of explain more as I go into it. So first of all, you can kind of see on the side here, you got all these different colors, but there's a lot more stuff going on in the back. From the front, you don't really see a whole much. There's this extra part there. Otherwise it looks like a lego box the bottom just kind of supported there nicely but you use this and you pop it open it does stay a little bit which is nice and inside just looking at the top you have these three little parts here and this is all completely tiled off all tiled off that looks so clean and crisp but these are supposed to be that you can hang jewelry off of um, I would imagine that you could actually probably get another flower and turn these and hang a set of earrings on there. Um, otherwise, you could have a little bracelet, a ring. Um, you could probably still get a set of earrings on there, too. Um, a necklace might be too big, but you could, you could, if you wanted to wrap it around a bit, you probably could. Um, and then down here, we actually have containers that just slide in. We'll take a look at this first. So here you can see you got two big tiles. So this is all smoothed out. You can see very little studs. That's why I was saying this is, feels so complete and almost high end. You know, normally you just leave it with this. And I know the first wave of dots had things where it's, it's just studs down there. They didn't, you know, make it completely flat. Putting this just adds an extra detail to it. You know, so it's all... It's vir virtually studless, except for this up top. But then your little containers, which do slide in there nicely. This is a one little container. And again, you can see it's kind of brick built with some plates in there. And again, more pink tiles, which makes me so happy. But you just pop this cover off, and it's only connected by two studs, so it's pretty easy. And you got kind of a little shallow container there. Um, so you could put, you know, probably a, you know, maybe a ring in there, some earrings, whatever you got. And then here we just have another container that fits in there. And again, more awesome tiling. Um, and you could put whatever you can really fit in there. Probably two little stud earrings in there. So when you open this up, you slide these in. Now, the shorter one does have to be in the back just because of how the mechanism is. But if we look in here, you can see they fit in there pretty nice, and you still have extra room. Now, they're not locked in place at all, but they do stay in place pretty good. Um, and you can see it's actually quite a simple mechanism here. Um, we got a little spot there or something. I think I did buy this one used, but pretty good condition. Um, they basically use a little Technic to make it open and close. And... It works really nice, and then only the two studs clips keeps it together pretty good. You can hear those things slide in there. Um, but other than that, this is a really nice little jewelry case. Um, and using this technique and, you know, maybe expanding it, adding different things, you can make a really nice big jewelry case. You know, you could use it for an adult, or if you have a child that would want it. And I mean... Even taking this, you could make it something else, take all the colors different if your child doesn't like the certain colors or something, and just use it as a cute little container for whatever you might need. Um, Lego is made out of plastic, non-toxic, so you can use this for a lot of different things. You could build a toothbrush holder and put toothpaste in it. You could build, you know, whatever you want, different containers, plastic, 
you know, it's not going to be waterproof as you can see, but water won't really damage it. I mean, obviously if it gets, you know, moldy and stuff like that, but that's going to happen with no matter what it is, but it's not going to like soak up and have issues and stuff. But this is a nice little jewelry thing. And I think actually when the one comes out for the dots, I'm going to do a comparison video. But that's pretty much all I have for this. I think it's pretty cool and ingenious for Lego to do things like this. And I think expanding that with dots is a cool and interesting concept. Well, that's all I got to say. I want to thank you for watching. And I hope you check out some more of my videos. And when I get to the other dots set, I hope you check that one out too. Thanks for watching.